Hello guys, welcome back to InfoSec Patch Channel. What we're going to be talking about today in this video is F Society. It's the Mr. Robot tool. It's pretty cool. It has a whole bunch of um, tools that you can utilize for pen testing, information gathering, post exploitation. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. But I just want to put a little disclaimer. Before you utilize any of these tools, make sure you have permission to utilize these tools on the system that you're using it against. For an example, me, if I'm going to do, you know, a vulnerability assessment or a pen test or run any of these tools, I'm running it against Metasploitable 2 in my VMware environment. So obviously I have permission. If you see on my other videos, if I do wireless penetration testing or wireless hacking, I set up my own little router and just do it right against that. So everything is, you know, in my possession. So I have permission. Uh, but if you're hired to do a pen test, if you're hired and you get their permission for the, from the client or from whomever, then you can utilize this because you have permission so you cannot get in trouble. I just want to put that out there because these tools you can utilize and you can actually get into trouble if you, use them, if you misuse them. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's go ahead and open up uh, my Firefox. Just a little warning today. My my internet been running a little slow, so hopefully we can get through this video fairly quickly. As you can see, I'm just going to Google.com. Um, I think my ISP in this area is having some trouble. So so let's go to F Society, okay? Hacking tool uh, tool pack. So we're gonna get it from the GitHub repository. So we can go to GitHub.com and click on this link. And I want to put these links in the description below. And like I said, sorry about the, the internet speed. But so let's go ahead and download and copy this. Okay. So we can now we can open up we can open up terminal. Let's see if I can zoom this in a little bit. Okay. So you guys can see better. Maybe one more. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to see, I want to install this on my OPT. So see OPT. Okay, so if I do an LS in here, I don't have um, the F Society's directory in there. So let's go ahead and get clone and we're going to clone this bad boy. Okay, and then once we do LS again, we should be able to see that. Okay, it's here. So now we can just CD into this F Society. Now we can go ahead and do a C, uh, ls. Now we see the install.sh. Okay, so now we can just do backslash install.sh, and this is going to go ahead and install it. That was pretty quick, so my internet may be uh, fixed. Um, so the tools are installed, so now they're ready to use. Okay, so all we have to do here, I'm going to clear the screen out so we can just uh, go from a clean slate. So now if we type in F Society and we agree to, you know, their terms and conditions, hit yes. So here we are. This is the F Society framework, right? So this is the framework that you can utilize to do any of these kind of tasks, information gathering, password attacks, wireless testing, exploitation tools, sniffing and spoofing, web hacking, private web hacking, post exploitation, etc., etc. Okay, so you know, let's just check. You know, let's see what's in information gathering. So, say for example, you're brand new to ethical hacking. If you're brand new to pen testing, and you want to know what is information gathering, right? What tools are used? Like, so if we didn't have this tool installed, where would you go into Kali? Yes, you can go into applications information gathering, right? But this this breaks it down so say for example you just hit one and now you in that tool now if you want to use nmap you can just boom nmap and then you can put your target ip etc etc okay um so you know let's go back and let's go back okay so now if you want to do spoofing and uh sniffing and spoofing okay so the you could do social engine uh, the social engineering toolkit. Obviously, this is aimed at penetration testing around social engineering. So, say for example, you want to send out a spoofed email, or if you want to, you know, attach an email to 
to do spear phishing, you know, to social engineer someone, this is the uh, utility that you would use. Um, SMTP mailer, so you want to uh, relay, or you know, you want to relay mail. Um, that's a tool to send mail. For example, if you wanted to come from Bill Gates at Microsoft, sending to your company, it looks like it's coming from Bill Gates. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back. And let's go to wireless hacking. This is pretty much my almost one of my favorites. I enjoy Wi-Fi uh, wi pen testing. But you have Reaver. You ha obviously I don't have a wireless card, but let's just see if we hit Reaver. We can clone. Obviously, we don't have uh, wireless cards, so this is my desktop. That's on my laptop. So we can go back. And this video is just pretty much to show you around the tool and what what uh, applications or and options you have okay so let's go ahead and go to you know exploitation tools so you have you know SQL map you have a at scan you have JBoss you have blind uh, SQL automation injections you know Joomla SQL injections so if you do an S any SQL injection scanners you would use that Okay, so let's go ahead and go back. And we, you know, for an example, we can use number one. Okay, so we can use number three, host to IP. So say, for example, you have, you know, you know, abc.com hired you, and you don't know abc.com's IP address, you know. So obviously, we can utilize hackthesite.org. That's a, a cool site. You should check it out. I'll put it in the description below. Um, you know, you can learn different techniques. So we can just do hack this. Whoops, if I can spell hack this site.org. Okay. So now this will give us, that's the host name, and then that should give us the IP address back. I told you, my internet's slow today. Sorry. Uh, okay, perfect. So now this has the IP of 137.74.187.103. Okay, so now we can put that down in our report uh, as our information gathering process. Okay, and that's, you know, that's pretty much that. You have Nmap and also known as Zenmap in the GUI version. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back. And that pretty much is it for this. Um, you know, if you want to learn more about it, get it installed, tinker with it. It's a cool little tool. You can utilize these different tools. Remember, use this in a in, in your own environment or one that you have permission. I can't vouch for that anymore. Please don't use these tools unethically, please. But yeah, it, it's a it's a it's cool framework you know it's not going to make you some superstar hacker it just consolidates everything under one pane of glass and that's something i enjoy i have it on my laptop and i like it you know it helps me out you know one and i can just do something really quick and that's pretty much it so hopefully this video been helpful and informative for you guys and i thank the world for checking this out and please like subscribe smash that bell so you get a uh, notifications when new videos come out and that's about it for today. Hopefully you guys have a good day and see you guys soon. Cheers, man.